Hey, this is Father Todd here at St. Mary's, here in my office. And I wanted to take uh, an opportunity to be able to speak to you about kind of where we're at in the midst of this, uh, this amazing Corona Tide process that we've all experienced months uh, it's been. Could you imagine? I was thinking back in uh, in January, New Year's. You know, who could have ever said that we were going to uh, that we were going to be closing everything down? Churches, schools, stores, everything was going to be closed down, and we were going to be hunkered down in our house for months. Well, so much for uh, for predicting the future, right? Yeah, uh, and so. There is, however, good news in all of this because we have hunkered down, because there has been social distancing, because we've done the things that have been uh, responsible, uh, told to us by our leaders and our health officials. Uh, the, the virus is beginning to abate. And, uh, and so we're beginning, as a, as a culture around here, we're beginning to open up a little bit. So that's the good news. And, uh, and so we have lots of things to be able to look forward to. So for here at St. Mary's, uh, you know we've locked everything down and we haven't had worship and we haven't had small groups and staff has been working from their homes and all of those things uh, that have been difficult, challenging. Uh, but there have been learnings about it too. All of the, all of the worship services that have been online and, and uh, the soup ministry that's, that has, has provided now thousands of these little, these little quart bags uh, for people in their homes, all kinds of unexpected things that have been really rich and rewarding for us. And my hope is, too, that it's been a time that we've been able to deepen spiritually, that we've discovered uh, our value in the hands of a God who's watching out for us and caring for us, even though we don't know uh, what the next day um, holds for us. And so we come to this time, and, uh, and the good news is that things are beginning to open up. And so the question that a lot of you are asking that I continue to ask myself is, so where are we going? Uh, what's the plan forward? So this just a reminder. Uh, so we are an Episcopal church, and Episcopal means bishop. And so we have a bishop um, within a national church, and our bishop is here in, uh, in the Diocese of Southeast Florida. Their office is in Miami. And so, uh, so for us, uh, the office of the bishop and the diocese and all of the churches in the diocese, we, we work together in order to be able to, to, to have a plan for what, you know, what all of the values and all of the things that we stand for are. And that includes especially times like this uh, that have to do with worship and it has to do with uh, human safety. And so the bishop, uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, uh, issued his uh, a document, which is uh, which he called "On Being Faithful," and that provides a a, a, a a framework for us to be able to make plans as we go out into the future. You'll see my letter, uh, as well as as another a graphic document that'll help you to be able to 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 absorb a little bit as we talk about season one, which is the season of closing down. Season two begins to think about opening up season three when we go back to the way things uh, were before. And so we are just now finding ourselves at the, at the very beginning of season two where, where, where there's promise and there's a possibility of, of things to happen. So here at St. Mary's, um, this next week, we are going to be working on, uh, on restoring uh, the office to the staff. So staff are going to come in and some tentative scheduling so that they can come in here and we can begin working uh, again as a team. And that's going to take a little bit for us. So no visitors at this point, nobody from outside, but, uh, but us working together as a team. And then towards we get towards the end of the month, month, uh, then we'll be able to start taking appointments as people can come in and arrange uh, for uh, for one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, tasks to drop off things or to have individual conversations as we need to. And then we'll be, getting, we'll be going uh, to move forward. In order to help us to be able to, to make these plans, uh, I've asked Maureen Cotter, who's the rector's warden, to establish with me a committee, a, a re-entry committee of great folks. So people from, uh, from the vestry, as well as health professionals from the area who are part of St. Mary's, to help us sketch out a plan of what is this, what is this gonna look like and how is it that we can, that we can move forward safely and, and know that we're taking care of each other, but doing as much as we possibly can to, uh, to, uh, to allow us to 
to come together as a community. So, um, so it's going to take a while. The month of June, we're going to be working with the office staff here to be able to come together. Um, but probably it's going to be a while before we have any face-to-face -face groups. And even if we did, um, we'll be wearing masks and social distancing. All of those things are going to continue to be with us, certainly uh, through the summer. So. Uh, I know for some of us, you know, that's disappointing to hear. It certainly is disappointing for me to say. And yet, um, and yet, you know, we work together as a team in order to be able to see the Spirit of Jesus uh, work in each, each one of us and to continue to support, support us as a community. So, uh, so for now, um, we'll continue to, uh, to use all of the technology available. We'll continue to, to wave at you and say hi. And, uh, and your support for us becomes all the more critical as we continue to walk through these days and make sure that as we go through each step of the process um, that, we're, that we're safe and that we're making plans that are going to be really effective for us. So uh, thank you so very much for being a part of the St. Mary's community. Continue to pray for us, continue to encourage us, and continue to support us. Your financial com contributions are what continues to help make our life together possible and give us the energy to move out into the future. So thank you. Uh, we look forward to the really good things uh, that are that are out there for us in the future, and we can't wait to be able to see each other uh, in church. So for right now, hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah.